What are Thunderbirds? With Bigfoot and Dogman stalking the forests, and plesiosaurs hiding in every lake, it seems the skies are the only place in North America one can be free of any cryptid beasts. Apparently, no one has worked up the courage to tell us to the massive Thunderbirds that soar above the continent. From coast to coast, the Native Americans told stories of birds large enough to create storms whenever they flew overhead. One famous legend even told of these epic avians lifting whales out of the ocean. Despite their immense power, they were seen as peaceful nature spirits who would aid tribes in times of famine. The first sighting in more modern times came on April 26, 1890, published by the Tombstone Epigraph. It reported of two ranchers killing a winged monster resembling an alligator over 90 feet in length, with an 8-foot head, jaws thickly set with strong, sharp teeth, a smooth, hairless body with a maximum diameter of 50 inches, an immense pair of wings composed of a thick and nearly transparent membrane with an estimated wingspan of about 160 feet, two feet just ahead of the wings, and an elongated tail. They included a photograph of them standing at the creature's body, which has since gone missing. The image I've included is a recreation of what the photos believed to have looked like. Then, in the 1940s, a series of sightings occurred in Illinois. On April 10th, 1948, three individuals in Overland spotted what they originally thought to be a passing plane, but after seeing a large set of flapping wings, they realized this plane was something very different. A few weeks later, in Alton, a man and his son saw what they described as an enormous bird-like creature with a body shaped like a naval torpedo. The creature was flying at at least 500 feet and cast a shadow the same size as a small plane. Sightings of the animal continue to this day all over the United States. One of the most common explanations for cryptids is that they are surviving dinosaurs. Now, based off the descriptions of the missing photograph and those made by other eyewitnesses, I think the creature could pretty easily be some form of pterosaur that managed to evade extinction.